One of the most common questions that I get asked by patients is when to use stem cells versus when to use other treatments such as PRP or prolozone when treating an arthritic joint. There are really two answers to that question. One is much more technical than the other. It partly depends, largely depends, on the degree of arthritis in the joint. Now keep in mind that arthritis is generally graded on a scale of one to four. One is hardly any arthritis present, whereas four is bone on bone, end of game, horses out of the barn, end stage arthritis. Generally speaking, for me, my protocol and the protocol in our practice is if you have a grade one or a grade two arthritis, in other words, the more mild forms, PRP works great. It's cost effective and it gets really, really good results in the vast majority of cases. But as you start to approach more advanced cases of arthritis, the grade three and certainly the grade four, the stem cells are going to work noticeably better, really to the tune of about 30 or 40 percent better than the PRP will. So early arthritis, grade one to two, save your money, do the PRP. More severe arthritis, grade three to four, you really want to consider doing a stem cell treatment protocol for those. Now, in an ideal world, if money was no object, would the stem cells work better than the PRP, even for the grade one and two arthritis? Yes, certainly it would. But this is where we start to get into a cost value discussion as well. So a stem cell treatment costs more than twice as much as a PRP treatment does. But stem cells do not work twice as good as PRP does. So you need to weigh out is one worth the other in terms of the cost value benefit. For many patients, it is. The cost of the stem cell outweighs uh, the difference in the cost to the PRP, particularly for the more advanced arthritis. It also, at the end of the day, boils down to a financial discussion. Not everybody can afford a stem cell treatment. It's certainly better to do a PRP treatment even for a grade four arthritis than it is to do nothing. For those people who can afford a stem cell treatment, they're going to get generally better results. But a PRP treatment certainly would be better than doing nothing. I hope that answers some of the common questions about PRP versus stem cells. What about other treatments such as prolotherapy and prolozone? Those can work well also. However, the number of treatments that are required now starts to make this more of a cost ineffective option. When you look at the cost of prolozone per treatment, added in the number of treatments that are required, it's equal to or more expensive than doing a PRP treatment. And I don't think it's quite as effective as a PRP in the vast majority of cases. Now I do use prolozone. In our practice we use prolozone as a pre-treatment. We pre-treat the arthritic joint with the prolozone. It's one treatment. And the reason that we do that is it's a very cost-effective way to quiet down the inflammation in the joint and to prepare the joint for the PRP or for the stem cells. Because think of this, more than anything, an arthritic joint is an angry, hostile, inflamed environment. Some of you are saying, yeah, I know, my knee tells me that every day. But the idea is if you take these fragile cells, whether they're platelets or stem cells, and you inject them into this hostile, inflammatory environment, two things will happen. One, some of those fragile cells are not going to survive in that hostile environment. But more importantly, these expensive cells first have to overcome that inflammatory load before they start to do any meaningful work. Rather than do that, I like to quiet down the joint with a prolozone treatment. It's a fraction of the cost. It quiets down the inflammation and creates a nice clean environment so that when the stem cells or the platelets hit that joint, they hit the ground running and they're ready to exert their healing effect right from the get-go. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next installation.